little chargers. I'm here to read you another story today, and I'm very excited about sharing a book with you. Oh, hi, BB Bear. Tell everybody hi. The kids are here today. BB Bear is reading a book by Eric Carle called The Very Lonely Firefly. Is this a pretty good book, BB Bear? Cool. Well, we're reading a book about by Eric Carle today. And this one is called Pancakes, Pancakes. So, BB Bear, I'm going to give you your book, and then you can sit down and listen while I read Pancakes, Pancakes. Now, if you were a first grader that had library right before we um, stopped having school, you heard this story in library. But Eric Carle is such an amazing author that I didn't want, to, I wanted everyone to be able to hear the story and see his pictures. So this one is called Pancakes, Pancakes. Here's the end cover, and we've looked at those a lot this year in library, because the, the authors and the illustrators, they really try to make the picture book look good for us, even from the very beginning. Kiki Riki, crow the rooster. Jack woke up, looked out his window, and thought, I'd like to have a big pancake for breakfast. Jack's mother was already up and busy. Mother said, Jack, I'd like to have a big pancake for breakfast. I'm busy and you'll have to help me, she said. How can I help, asked Jack. We'll need some flour, she replied. Take a sickle and cut as much wheat as the donkey can carry. Then take it to the mill and the miller will grind the wheat into flour. When Jack had cut enough wheat, he put it on the donkey's back and took it to the miller. And this is the sickle. That's what cuts the wheat. Can you grind the wheat for me, he asked. I need a big pancake. First we must separate the grain from the chaff, said the miller. So he gave Jack a flail, and he spread the wheat out on the ground, and the miller took another flail and began to beat the wheat with it. Jack helped with the threshing, and soon there was a big pile of straw and chaff and a small pile of grain. The miller poured the grain on a large flat stone. On top of it was the round millstone, connected to the water wheel outside. The water wheel turned around and around, and it turned the millstone around and around, and ground the wheat, ground the grain into flour. At last, the miller handed Jack a bag of flour. Here's the flour, shouted Jack. Let's make a pancake. But his mother said, now we need an egg. Jack went to the black hen and fed her some grain that had slipped into his pocket while he had been threshing. Cluck, cluck, said the black hen, and went inside the hen house. Then she said, cluck, cluck, once more, and laid an egg. Here's an egg, shouted Jack. Let's make a pancake. But his mother said, now we need some milk. Jack went into the spotted cow and began to milk her. Moo, moo, said the spotted cow as the milk squirted into the pail. Here's the milk, shouted Jack. Let's make a pancake. But his mother said, we need some butter. Jack got the butter churn and held it between his knees. His mother scooped the cream from the top of the milk and put it into the butter churn. And then Jack pushed the churn handle up and down, up and down, up and down, until it finally turned the cream into butter. Here's the butter, shouted Jack. Let's make a pancake. But his mom said, we need to build a, a fire. Jack went to the woodshed and brought back some firewood. Here's the firewood, shouted Jack. Let's make a pancake. But his mother said, wouldn't you like to have something sweet on your pancake? So Jack went down to the cool cellar and pulled a jar of strawberry jam from one of the shelves. Here's the strawberry jam, shouted Jack. Let's make a pancake. In the kitchen, Jack's mother had filled the table with the flour, the egg, the milk, the butter. And there was also a mixing bowl, a cup, a wooden spoon, a ladle, a frying pan, a plate, a knife, fork, and spoon, and a jar of strawberry jam. 
And his mother said, Put a cup full of flour into the bowl, break an egg into the flour, and stir. Pour a cup full of milk over the flour and eggs, and stir again until the batter is smooth without lumps. Jack's mother heated the frying pan over the fire and added a piece of butter. The butter melted fast. And then she said to Jack, Now pour a ladle full of batter into the hot pan. About a minute or two later, she looked at the underside of the pancake. It was golden brown. Now watch, she said. I'll turn the pancake over. Ready? Ready, shouted Jack. Look, said his mother. Up and over went the pancake, high into the air. It landed right in the pan. In another minute or two, the pancake was crisp on the underside as well. Then she slipped the pancake from the frying pan onto the plate. She spread some jam on it. And now, Jack, his mother started to say, but Jack said, oh, mama, I know what to do now. And he ate his pancake. So Eric Carl <clears throat> makes some pretty amazing pictures. If you want to see more about Eric Carl, you can put in, go to YouTube and put in Mr. Rogers meets Eric Carl. And it, Mr. Rogers goes to Eric Carl's workshop, and Eric Carl shows how he makes his illustrations and reads another story to Mr. Rogers, which he will be able to hear. And then Eric Carl also has his own website. And if you go to ericcarl.com, you can see, have, see some activities see more about how he makes his books, see all the books that he's made, and then when the library's open again, you'll have a chance to go and get some Eric Carl books of your own to look at, which everyone that was in Library Monday really enjoyed looking at all the Eric Carl books that we have in our library at school. In the meantime, you can also um, look on YouTube for other people reading Eric Carl books, and I'm sure there are many on there that you can find. So keep reading, keep listening to books, and I'll see you next time.